What's going on YouTube? This is Inventory King. I have a video for everybody today on how to tell whether your African cichlid is a male or a female. That's right, venting. One of the most successful ways to tell whether you have a male or a female is by venting the fish. When they are small, this is going to be a difficult task as they are not developed enough yet to tell for sure. Um, you know, you could get a good guess, but is it 100% sure? In my opinion, it's not. Um, but once they get bigger, like the size of my Rostratus here, you can absolutely tell whether they're male or female um, by venting them. Um, even when uh, you don't vent them, even at this size, it could still be a little tough to, to tell. Like right here, that's the dominant male in here. He's not as colored up as normal. Uh, it's because I vented them before I made this first part. Um, but typically he's just on fire constantly, which is an amazing thing to see. But um, I had two other males in here that were not even as colorful as him, not even as close. I mean, they had a little bit of that color right here on the chin, but, and they were, you know, the similar size of these females. So even then you would have to vent them to be a hundred percent sure. So with venting, you are going to be able to tell whether it's a male or a female with more luck, as long as they got size on them. You know, peacocks, you're going to be able to tell pretty soon on whether it's a male or a female because the males will start displaying some color. Um, and haps though, haps, like everyone knows, they get huge. Most taps are huge fish. Uh, so without further ado, let's go to the venting process so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vent a few of them so that you can see uh, what the vent looks like on a male and a female. So without further ado, let's get started. See those two holes right there? <laughs> See those two holes? How they're the same size? That indicates that this is a male Astratus. And he's wiggly and they have their uh, their fins are pokey. Perfect, this is a female. Now, see how one is smaller and one is bigger? This is a female. The back one is the vent and that's where they poop from. Here we go. Another female, see the small hole right there and then the big hole, this is a female. Okay, two of the same size hole, this is a male. One big, one small, big one, small one, female. Perfect. Here's another female, look at that. That is what you call prime example. One big one, one small one, this is a female. One big, one small. And her vent looks like it's starting to come out, so she might be breeding soon. Another female, big and small, that is the vent. So this is 100% female. Hope that's making sense, guys. I don't know if you could tell, but those are, those are the same size. This is a male. Okay, there you go, guys. Um, I hope it came out clear. Um, kind of hard to be super clear when you're putting something so close to the lens. Um, but yeah, so... A male is gonna be two identical size holes on the bottom or spots. Uh, that's gonna be, one is gonna be the male um, uh, reproductive organ and it's going to be the, where they go poop. And then on the female, the small one is where they go poop and the big one is where their egg, uh, egg tube comes down where they lay the eggs. So um, this is all again, in my opinion, on how I know African cichlids. Um, I'm still learning a lot every day. But that's it, that's venting African cichlids. That's gonna give you the, the greatest chance to know what your fish is, as long as there's good size on them. So everyone, let me know what you think down below in those comments. Press the like button if you'd like, hit that subscribe button if you'd like, and enjoy this beautiful hobby, and stay tanked.